اهلا بيك فضيله الامام شفيق الرحمن امام مسجد ليفربول وشرفنا ومنورنا النهارده في موقع في الجول في البدايه من هم اشهر اللاعبين المسلمين الذين مروا بمسجدك في ليفربول So most famous is uh, of course uh, currently uh, Muhammad Salah and also Sadio Mane and uh, inshallah in the future in the future Ibrahim Karate also looking like a very good player inshallah for the future الناس اللي يرون صوره هؤلاء اللاعبين في الميدان كيف هم حياتهم في في الواقع والله uh, they uh, very very humble people you know very down to earth people nice people genuine people Uh, actually quite soft in their in their approach and in their speech uh, very very good people mashallah mata qabalt muhammad salah la awwal marra before corona before corona um, i about 2018 and um, he would come every uh, juma but because he come from training they would come a little bit late and then the masjid is full so they would uh, be in the back and obviously as imam on the front uh, but one day uh, he came very early mashallah and he came and sat right in front of me so as i was doing the khutbah and as soon as the jumma finished um, i knew i'm going to catch him today so uh, i went to my office and he came with me to the office mm-hmm. and uh, we sat um, in my office for some time i had a good a good talk with him and also took a couple of pictures كيف كان الاجتماع ما بينكم meeting alhamdulillah mashallah was good mashallah because outside the masjid uh, it was very very busy everybody taking picture with him you know uh, it was hard to meet him outside so we met him inside and we talked uh, of course he had training after the salah he had training so it wasn't too too long but about 10 minutes uh, you know i just asked him how he was doing and he asked me how was the masjid you now you know what's your name and uh, it just introduced uh, each other هل لاعبي كره القدم المسلمين تاثير ايجابي على سمعه الاسلام في في انجلترا واوروبا i think definitely yes uh, definitely yes uh, because number one they mashallah they're doing good they're performing good everybody is happy uh, and they're happy for for the players they're happy for the team they're happy for the muslims you know they're singing songs if he um, you know scores another goal you know uh, if he's a muslim i'll be muslim too and he's sitting in the masjid i'll be sitting in the mosque so these things you know they uh, people say these when they're happy uh, they don't say these things when they are angry with somebody uh, they uh, of course alhamdulillah they have a nice uh, good soft gentle touch towards uh, and the approach towards the muslims has definitely changed with the muslim players you know muhammad salah we have sadio mane as well um, you know before that colo tori quite a lot of muslim players in the premier league overall now so alhamdulillah is good especially within liverpool you know in the first team so many muslims currently as well first team players you know salah sadio mane and uh, ibrahim and you know kaita and Uh, we had you know previously colatoria this is also a lot of you know um, muslim players in the premier league and also in the liverpool team هل لاحظت اختلافا في موقف في الانجليز اتجاه المسلمين منذ ظهور محمد صلاح الى ليفربول yes 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 um, definitely uh, because he um, when he scores the goals you know he's winning titles he's winning trophies uh, people are happy uh, we see in the stadiums as well now they you know a lot of stadiums are making prayer rooms for muslims a lot of uh, stadiums are now providing halal food for the muslims we feel more inclusive now we feel more part of the you know the the fans uh, when you go to the stadium you know before i don't think i could go to stadium with with a um, juba and now sometimes i go to the ju- stadium with juba and alhamdulillah very uh, you know i remember recently i went to one game I went to one game and I was wearing my uh, my uh, jubba because I went straight after salah so I didn't have time to change. I went in the jubba as I approached the stadium we went inside and the steward came and the steward said uh, when it's prayer time the prayer hall is downstairs you take a left and you go straight and take a right so he recognized me as a muslim and he immediately uh, you know uh, told me about the salah you know you go there and you pray there so alhamdulillah it was uh, you know very accommodating واخرا في لقاء تلفزيوني سؤال محمد صلاح في المقابله عن الكحول تلقى الكثير من الانتقادات في مصر لانه لم يقل انها حرام نصا رايك في اجابته ايه وشايف رد الفعل الانتقادات ده ازاي good question ما شاء الله 
Well, like, first of all, uh, we we need to realize uh, Muhammad Salah, uh, he gave opinion. Um, you know, everybody has their opinions. Maybe he, there was a political side to it as well. I'm not sure, Allah Alam. Uh, but uh, the question as well was not very clear. The question was not, is alcohol halal or is alcohol haram? The question was also, you know, going around the bush. So Salah also answered it in the same manner as well. And he said, I don't feel like it. Maybe he doesn't feel like it in this world because he's going to feel like it in Jannah, inshallah. So that's why maybe he could say that. هل كانت لديك مواقف مضحكة أو حكايات مع محمد صلاح وساديو ماني؟ كولوتوري he was very funny. You know, he in his in his nature he was just naturally funny. You know, even when Kolotore was even when he was serious he was still funny. So uh, I have some uh, you know funny moments with him. Um, the first time I met Kolotore, I was doing the khutbah, so I was on the minbar, and I was uh, giving the khutbah. And Kolotore, he he walked into the prayer room. So number one, of course, he was the last person in the masjid, so he was extremely late. And then he walked in as though he was extremely early, and uh, he came with a big you know funny hat, and uh, he just standing there looking at me in my face as I'm giving the khutbah. So I couldn't keep it in. I started also laughing in the khutbah because uh, he was just staring at my face. So I also started smiling and I think people look back to see who it is. And when they look back, they realize it was, it was Kolo uh, Tori. MashaAllah, uh, he gives them time. He gives them, you know, uh, opportunity. Of course, everybody wants to take picture. So he allows them, you know, even if he's in a rush, sometimes he just stops by allows them to take pictures. I remember in the Salah, because they come from training, so they come late and the masjid is full. And uh, sometimes the people say to him, Salah, Salah, go forward, go forward. And they make space for him. And he says, no, no, no. He says, you come first, you go forward. And uh, he will just stand wherever the space, he will just stand there. He would not make a big fuss. You know, he will uh, let the fans, you know, the Muslim fans that were praying in the masjid, he will let them pray comfortably. And himself, he used to be very, you know, tight, in a tight space. Um, so for the fans, he, of course, he has time, uh, takes pictures. Even non-Muslims sometimes would come outside the masjid uh, to take pictures because for them, the masjid was easier to get to Salah and to Sadi Omani than the stadium. So they would come and uh, they would take pictures with, with them. Alhamdulillah, uh, we feel very happy because as a Muslim, as a Muslim, uh, the one thing which everybody knows about a Muslim is he prays. Whether alcohol halal or haram or, you know, the food halal haram, this is all, non-Muslim don't know these things. But one thing that everybody knows, Muslim, non-Muslim, is the salah, is the prayer. The prayer is the thing for the Muslims. So when he does sujood and he thanks Allah, uh, and of course, Allah is also happy. So when Allah is happy with somebody, he then tells the angels that I am happy with this person, you also be happy with this person. So we are also happy that he you know, does that. We like it. خلال تواجد محمد صلاح وتوهجه كلاعب عالمي ومسيرته في ليفربول اللي هو تسجيل اهداف الكثيره بدات اللي في اغاني بتطلع اللي هو لو المشجعين ان لو صلاح هنسجد او المكان اللي انت بتروح فيه المسجد فاحنا هنروح نفس المكان وكمان بقت الاطفال بتعمل نفس طريقه الاحتفال اللي هم بيسجدوا فشايف ده ازاي؟ Yes, of course, we have, uh, I, I also a teacher in the madrasa, we have many students, 100 students we have, uh, we teach them. And uh, when Salah used to start coming to the masjid, uh, they all started getting Salah shirts, number 11, Salah, Salah. And, uh, you know, some used to get the number 10 shirt with, with Sadio Mane. And they want to be like them because they, uh, everybody has a role model. So it's good to have, you know, somebody like Salah, uh, somebody like, you know, Sadio Mane as a role model. Uh, for our Muslim children. Even in the madrasa, uh, when it's uh, break time, they play football and they say, Salah, Salah, and they say, Sadi Omani. So, and when they score, they do the sajida as well. So they're copying them. Sadi Omani is, uh, is now three, four years now. I know him uh, very uh, close and personally, I know him as well. Uh, been to his house uh, many times and also. Um, you know, I see him every single Friday, even uh, tomorrow, I probably will see him, inshallah, in the uh, Juma. And um, he said he's going to come to my house soon. So, inshallah, uh, with Sadio Mani, I have a very, you know, um, 
close relationship, you know, um, in the masjid and outside the masjid as well. MashaAllah, tabarakallah, about um, two, uh, maybe two and a half, three years ago, uh, so before Corona time, one of the uh, the caretakers of the masjid, he was cleaning the wudu area, and the wudu area is quite big, and he saw that one of the brothers was cleaning the wudu area, so he approached him, and he uh, lifted his, you know, his pants up so that they don't become wet. And he also um, physically started, uh, you know, helping and cleaning and washing uh, the toilets and the wudu area of the masjid, which was, mashallah, you know, very nice and also very kind and also very humble uh, from him. He's a very, very, very ordinary uh, human being. He lives a very simple life. Uh, very humble, uh, and his father was also imam in the masjid, so he, he's got a very humble uh, upbringing. Uh, so that, of course, helps him off the pitch. He, whatever he can, you know, he does, and uh, he tries, he he tries to stay as normal as you know as, as, as much as possible. كيف يمكن للاعب المسلم أن يحافظ على إيمانه وتقاليده الدينية في مجتمع غربي؟ It's it's important for for obviously for them to uh, to know that whatever they have um, they have from Allah, and it's important for them to continue with their prayer. Alhamdulillah, Imam Salah, Sadi Mali, all of them they all pray, uh, not all the time in the masjid, but at home they always pray, and that's very important because the salah will keep a person, uh, you know, um, close to Allah, and uh, it will keep him in his in his uh, Islam. So Islam comes first, of course, and then second. Everything has come second, so um, it's it's good they have you know they have um, you know Muslim friends around them, they have imams around them, uh, and they're also very uh, they're very you know they're football players, mashallah. But at the same time, they're very knowledgeable. I've spoken to them, and they their knowledge about Islam and their knowledge about Allah and the awareness of Allah is at a very high level. You know, some Muslims, uh, many Muslims are not like that, so they're quite uh, you know mashallah. They had a good upbringing. Whoever was the teacher in Egypt or in Senegal or in the countries, I'm sure they're very good teachers because they have solid knowledge about Islam. شايف رد فعل اللاعبين المسلمين بعدم استلام جائزة أفضل لاعب خاصة أنها مقدمة من شركة خمور. I think uh, we obviously we all uh, if you ask me if you ask me uh, if it's halal or haram. The answer is, you know, is clear. Is um, alcohol, of course, is haram in in Islam. I think the Muslim players, uh, to my knowledge, the Muslim players as well, they they not happy when the alcohol is given to them, uh, but sometimes they don't have the uh, the capacity to change whatever they want to change. Uh, but the hadith mentions when you see something wrong, you stop it with your hands. If you can't, then you with your mouth and if you can't with the mouth then you feel bad inside so I've spoken to the players and uh, they uh, sometimes are not happy with alcohol being given to them and I think um, I think sometimes in the Premier League as well they've changed it they don't give them the alcohol uh, in the Premier League I, I think they give them mm-hmm. something else uh, because I went to Sadio Mane's house recently and he had in his cabinet many man of the match man of the match it wasn't alcohol it was some kind of uh, little trophy kind of thing هل الشهور المقبلة ستكون هناك قرعة تصفيات كأس العالم؟ لو قبل منتخب مصر منتخب السنغال ستشجع من؟ In the first half I support Egypt, in the second half Senegal. <تصفيق> ملاحظين اللي أنت موجود عندك في الغرفة تي شيرت ساديو ماني و... وكوناتي. وكوناتي yes and we have uh, the football here Champion League football um, this one. Okay. Champion League football, a Saudi money football, a hat trick. ممكن uh, ممكن ممكن تجيب الكرة ونتكلم عليها بابا. هتكون معك في إيديك. So this is the um, the ball. Uh, so Saudi money signed it, and uh, it's the actual Champions League ball. So Sadio Mane, this one, when I went to his house, he gave me this gift. And uh, he said to, to Imam and Hassan, Hassan, my son. Um, so you can see, you can see here where he kicked the, the, the foot marks on this. So Alhamdulillah is, uh, is good. I said to him, I said to him, now I need Salah shirt. 
as well. So inshallah, we have space. I make space already for Sanashir. Uh, that will come soon, inshallah. بعض اللاعبين يصممون على الصيام في رمضان اثناء المباريات هل طلب منك بعض اللاعبين رخصه الافطار that's not for me to say but in islam uh, you know in islam if somebody is uh, musafir for him the fasting is um, is exempt so when they go to world cup when they go to champions league different countries musafir so they don't need to fast if they fast good if they don't fast no problem نصحتك للاعبين المسلمين في اوروبا عموما تحب تقول لهم ايه Um, first advice is absolutely fine. It's uh, before people used to say maybe you know 20 years ago football haram and this that no 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 haram kullu halal inshallah and uh, the football is fine and the parents of the children should support them because we see Salah and we see Sadio Mane these players uh, the, it was hard for them you know they had to travel so so far. Uh, you know, 100 miles, 200 miles every single day is too much. Um, I would advise the parents, if the children has potential, then let him be a professional footballer. Maybe, as we can see with Salah and with, with Mane as well, um, the influence they give on Islam is greater than maybe another person who is a doctor. Uh, so the, the parent uh, should also allow, and the youngsters who want to become footballers, then um, you know, try hard, inshallah, make dua, And um, you know, Allah will uh, will help you each other fulfill your dream. But from the okay. Islamic side, from Islamic side, is absolutely fine, no problem. Rafin, بك فضيلة الشيخ شوفيك كنا سعداء جدا بوجودك معنا ونتمنى أن أنت تكون سعيد بالحوار معنا. No problem, inshallah. Shukran, Zainan.